ChatGPT came out at the end of November 2022, and since then, it has turned tons of average people into millionaires. But today, the AI landscape is a lot more competitive, and that's why you need to pay attention to the ChatGPT store that was just released on January 10th. By this time, a year from now, undoubtedly a brand new wave of millionaires will be created using these GPTs. We're going to be covering some specific ways to make money with these new GPTs, but the first thing I want to cover here here is what exactly the ChatGPT store is. The GPT store offers customized versions of ChatGPT that can do a heck of a lot more than simple text. Think of it like ChatGPT on steroids. And if you're new to ChatGPT, be sure to check out my full 45 minute tutorial on how to use ChatGPT. Let's dive into how to actually access the ChatGPT store. You are going to need to be a GPT plus user, and that is going to cost you 20 bucks a month. Once you're a ChatGPT plus, plus member, all you have to do is visit the regular ChatGPT website. And then in the top left corner, you're going to see something that says explore GPTs. Through Dolly, which is the image creation side of ChatGPT, they have a couple of image creation tools, logo generators, there's a cartoon creator, as well as the Canva GPT. Next up, we have the writing category where you can write blog posts. You can also create SEO optimized content and even humanize existing AI content. Over in the productivity category, they offer an AI PDF creator, and it's also able to go through thousands of PDFs at the same time looking for certain information. They also have a diagram and flowchart creator, as well as a video creation tool and more. In the research and analysis category, there is a data analysis tool. We also have consensus, and then there's scholar AI, which you can use to test out a scientific hypothesis. In the programming category, you have auto programming GPTs that will write code for you, as well as a designer GPT for creating websites. This educational category has a variety of different learning and study aids for math, language, and more. And then there's the lifestyle category where you can get personalized recommendations on things like TV shows. We're going to start off looking at the Canva GPT. I went ahead and asked it to create a motivational Instagram post related to personal finance. From here, it asked me some follow up questions about the theme of the post to which I responded, the theme being budgeting is the key to building wealth. The posts were okay. They could have been better, but the important thing to be aware of is this is the very beginning of what is going to be possible here with these GPTs. Now, as a follow-up, I asked the tool to create another post, this time a motivational post related to a Warren Buffett quote. And honestly, it seems like this confused the tool because the quote was related to seeds and plants and it brought it in that direction with the correct prompt here, you could get something decent as a result out of the Canva GPT. You could use tools like this to create an AI powered social media marketing agency, allowing for significant cost cutting instead of using humans to create all of that social media content. Next up, we're going to take a look at consensus. This is a GPT that we're actually using already across my blog related businesses. And that is because it's very effective at writing articles that are attributed back to reputable sources. One of the biggest problems with ChatGPT is the accuracy and legitimacy of the answers that it gives, and that's because it's using the internet as the source for that information, and as we know, everything on the internet is not always true. Well, this GPT instead references over 200 million academic papers, making sure that this information that it's using as a reference point is a bit more legit than what you're just finding on the internet. Just for demonstration here, I asked it for the average return from the stock market, and it listed numerous studies that could be referenced. And while it will take a little bit of work to turn this into an article, what you can often do is use this as a starting point, and then you can take that information over to ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to write your article based on that given information. In terms of making money with this, you could do this yourself if you have your own blog. You could start your own blog if you have credibility in a given subject, or you could become a freelance content creator who is able to write articles that do well in this new Google landscape. If you happen to be a flipper or reseller, this next GPT is going to be an absolute game changer for you, and it's called Sell Me This Pen. All you have to do is upload a photo of the item you're looking to sell, and this AI tool is going to generate a full description for you. In addition to that, it also checks the internet for pricing and gives you a price suggestion based on real-time data. The advantage here is that a reseller or flipper 
who's already doing this could probably more than double their output in terms of their volume of transactions using a tool like this. You could also consider selling items for other people and just earning a commission on that sale if you don't have items to sell yourself or you don't want to go out and source items to flip. And if you do decide to do this yourself, you might want to look into getting a storage unit or something like that, as this is a great place to not only store your items, but also meet potential buyers. That way you're not having all of these strangers over to your house. Next up, we have the Logo Creator GPT, and this could be useful for your own business, or you could use this as a business in and of itself, creating logos for other people. I asked this particular tool to make me a logo for an eco-friendly clothing line, and then from here, asked me a series of follow-up questions about the desired level of complexity as well as color scheme and more related to the finished product. What's cool too is you can ask it to make changes as you go using additional prompts, so it's rather intuitive. I will say that there were some spelling issues here in the final product, but I think if you were to follow up with multiple prompts, you could tweak it and get it to be something that you were pretty happy with, especially being completely AI generated. And again, just keep in mind, this is the very beginning of what these tools are going to do. And as more people are testing them out, they're only going to be getting better and better from here. So in a way, this is the worst worst versions that we're ever going to see of these GPTs. Now there's tons of other GPTs that you could potentially make money with. I might do another follow up video if you guys are interested, but for now, the last one I want to cover here is the cartoonize yourself GPT, where you simply upload a photo of yourself and it makes you look like a Pixar character. Trends like this catch on like wildfire and everybody wants to follow them. So you could stay up to date on different AI tools like this and offer a service where you cartoonize people's photos even if you're just putting it into a free AI tool, a lot of people will just not want to jump through the steps or they may not be GPT plus users themselves. You could create a simple service on Fiverr where you offer to make people's images into cartoons for $5, or you could offer this right on Instagram and just have people Zelle or Venmo you or Cash App, and you can send the images right to them in their inbox. And while a lot of these tools definitely have room for improvement, the important thing is to get started on the ground floor here as this is sort of like a reset of when ChatGPT itself first came out. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like as well as subscribe and hit the bell for future notifications of other AI videos just like this one. And don't forget to grab a copy of my book from side hustle to main hustle to millionaire, which is a step by step guide on getting your own side hustle off the ground. You can find this book in person at Barnes and Noble as well as at libraries across the United States. It's also on Amazon as well as an author narrated version on Audible. Thanks so much for tuning in. Click below to watch my video on five side hustles for 2024, and I'll see you there.